All right, good morning. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Gonna be playing more Breath of the Wild here. And, uh, yo, let's get right to it. So, how many orbs do I have? I'm trying to see. Here we go, I have two, okay. So two more and then I can upgrade. <clears throat> Alright, well we just got this new armor from Rito Village here that allows us to withstand the cold. I think actually having the full set, I read that having the full set makes me immune to freeze as well. Cold resistance, cold resistance, cold resistance, but there should be something it says I'm immune to freeze as well. I don't know. But anyway. <clears throat> so, see if anybody else has any other side quests. And then I can go out and explore the different areas here. Doesn't look like anybody else has any other quests. Not at the moment, anyway. You know what? Hold on. Let's go over here. Oh, these people are up now. But yeah, nobody has any quests, I don't, I don't think. No, 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 that's Flint. Not right now, I did that already. Alright, so I think, yeah, let's open up the map here. <clears throat> Alright. I don't know where the other shrine, let's go to the tower here, hold on. I beat a shrine, but it was in a really cold area, remember? And I was taking damage because I was over there. But now that I have this cold-resistant armor, I think I, sh I might be able to explore that area and not have to worry about taking damage. Let's see. We got a tower all the way over there that I'm eventually going to have to get. You know what? I might as well mark that off now. <clears throat> but I don't think I see any other shrines in this area. Yeah, see, it is cold up here, but I'm not taking damage now, finally. Good. Because of the armor I'm wearing. Awesome. There's a shrine I completed already. Over there. Right, but what's down here? That is weird. It's not another shrine, though. I have no idea what that is. And then that's the tower I just marked off, right? Yeah, okay. I'm thinking I might want to go for that tower, actually. It's all the way over there. So that way I can get the top of this map unlocked. There's no other shrines I could see from here at the moment. Maybe I'll just glide this way and see what I can see. 
before I go for that tower. Just kind of stay in this area now that I have this cold resistance. Let's see. Let's glide this way. See if anything's over here. couple craters over here. I wonder if there's a, uh, a, you know what, there's probably a Korok seed in the middle of this one. Let's see. The Gisa Crater, actually has a name, okay. Oh man, it's a boss. What? Oh my god, I'm missing it. Oh my god! At least that didn't do that much damage, that's good. Oh, I can't go under him. Well, that killed me! Mipha's grace thankfully restored me there. There we go. What can I use? What other arrows? This may be bomb arrows. Would be good. Damn, I missed it. Keep missing them, dude. Sucks. There we go. I don't think shock hours are really going to help here. Yeah, the shock arrows really aren't doing anything. The explosive ones were the best arrows I could have used, but... Let me see. I guess I'll try to... Oh my god! <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess I'll try to climb them, but... Climb them? the hell? I can't see anything. There we go. Wait, let me get something better. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Knocked me off. There we go. And that's how you do that. <laughs> Thankfully, Mifa's Grace saved my ass there. Yo, Insomniosis, what's up, dude? I'm not sure if what you're watching is live right now. Yes, it is live. <laughs> I am live, yes. Anything I can take a picture of here? before I pick this stuff up no okay cool Safina Cephalina, actually. Okay.
<clears throat> well, I thought that was a Korok seed, but it turned out to be one of those giant uh, rock monsters. I don't know if I got a picture of these guys yet. Oh no, I did, okay. This might be the edge of the map here. Yeah, look, I don't think anything's down here. Yes, your first message went through. I, <clears throat> I did see it. And yes, we are live. <laughs> I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. How are you this morning? I'm just kind of exploring. Oh, is that a shrine? Oh, no. I'm just kind of exploring areas I haven't explored yet. Um, we got. I got this cold resistance armor from Rito Village, so I think this area that I'm in is cold right now, if I'm not mistaken. So now I have this armor. We're able to uh, withstand the cold. So I'm just trying to explore... <clears throat> some areas that I haven't seen yet. Cool. I can't take a picture of the raw meat. Okay. Trying to find more shrines, more secret stuff. You know, just, just kind of taking my time exploring the area. Keys. Taking it easy, been playing the first Bioshock game. Nice. Uh, I know, 2007 was 11 years ago. That is insane, dude. That's absolutely insane. You're up, You're right. Um, I've never played any of the Bioshock games, so... <clears throat> I'm wondering, I know they're good. I know they're very good. I've just never played them before. Good, I didn't have a picture of a swift violet yet. Well, unfortunately, I'm not finding any more shrines or anything the moment. I do have my Sheikah Slate set to shrine detection, you know, shrine detection, in case we do come across one. Um, I don't know, that's Rito Village there. I'm probably going to have to go back to Rito Village and start the quest up to try to uh, take down that next guardian. Uh, oh wow, what is this? Not guardian, uh, the next um, divine beast. <clears throat> I'm 
But yeah, I should be able to survive in this cold now. With this armor, this new armor that I have. Oh my god, he's right in my face. Oh, I got a picture of him, that's good. Ah, uh, hold on. Try to get a better one here. There we go, that one's better. Okay. Yo, Yetis, what's up, man? You'll be here for a few minutes. Cool, what's going on, dude? Thanks so much for being here. Uh, that's the thing. I'm not too crazy on first-person games. Um, I guess that's why I never really played it. <clears throat> I'm not too, too big on first-person games. Now, Dishonored is an exception. I love Dishonored. Dishonored was a great game. But, uh, other than that, I, I, re I don't really get into first-person games that much. Oh, what do we got here? We got a chest in there. Uh, Bioshock, we were talking about. What is that over there? Oh, that's the tower that I marked off. Okay. What's up, fellas? Whoops. Oh my god. Well, I'm in trouble here. Let's go, one at a time. What? I tried to dodge and he still got me. <clears throat> yeah, that's what Insomniosis was just talking about yet. He was saying he just started playing the first uh, Bioshock again. Oh, man. Alright, let's try that again. What is that? Climb on top and drop bombs. What's up, Swim Doc, by the way? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the advice, dude. Climb up top. So let's see, maybe climb up top like a tree, perhaps? Whoops. Ah, I see. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! I like that. That was cool. It's a good idea because they do go over to the bomb. Like, what is that? <laughs> On top of the skull house, yeah. Well, that one was bad. I'm 
I'm not doing a great job here. Hold on a second. <laughs> They're all like, what's going on? I guess this is an effective, a slow but effective way to do it. Damn. <laughs> Those guys can one-shot me because they're harder difficulty bobblekins. Look at their skin patterns compared to the other ones. Gotcha, okay. Wow, there are a lot of them in there. Damn. Well, that's, this is definitely one way to do it. That's for sure. Taking a long time though. When they're outside, climb all the way on top and toss bombs. All the way on top, okay. I think I was hitting more this way. Yeah, I was hitting more of them this way. None are outside now. Yeah, I know. Oh, crap. I fell down. <laughs> this is fine. This is getting the job done. It's taking a little while, but... Oh, crap. It's taking a little while, but it's getting the job done. I actually killed one, I think. This chest better be worth it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> Alright, almost. I got a lot of them close to death now. There we go, there we go. I just killed one, nice. Killed another one. The toss and bombs idea was great, by the way. There we go, another one's dead. Whoops. There we go, it's another one. Destroyed that key stand. I almost went down. I, after all that, I almost died. Oh, there's one way over there. The name Jusky Rain... <clears throat> comes from way, way back when I was younger, when I was in high school. My friends and I, a couple of my friends and I 
wrote a Final Fantasy VII fan fiction, or we were always in the progress of writing the fan fiction. We never actually completed it, but we did a whole bunch of work on a fan fiction for Final Fantasy VII, and we made a bunch of characters. <clears throat> you know, our own custom characters that were set in the universe or the world of FF7. And Jusky Rain was a character that um, was created, you know, that was like my character, basically. And that's where the name came from. <laughs> <clears throat> So, it's been a while. It's been a long, long time since the creation of that name. It's hard to get this one last dude. Damn it. Oh, I remember what I have to do, too, by the way. After I'm done this, at some point, I have to go back to that lab, that ancient lab, and upgrade my stasis rune, now that I have uh, enough ancient cores to do it. It's the last rune I have to upgrade. Stasis was the last one. <clears throat> Boom. All right, cool, Yetis. Thank you so much for being here, man. Thanks for stopping in. Boom, finally. All right, they're all dead. Woo! Oh, and Sound of says, Final Fantasy VII is my favorite game of all time. Hands down. Favorite game of all time. Oh, you know what? I should take pictures of this crap. Hold on. Oh, I can't take pictures of, of the monster parts. Uh, oh, this stuff I can. All right, what was that? The Boko Club. Okay. Boko Club. There's something else here. Boko Shield. Here we go. Okay. I can't carry any more shields, though. Oh, what's this? A Frost Spear. Nice! We got a frost spear. I'm gonna have to make room for that. Um. You know what? Screw this feathered spear. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what's in the chest. And then I have to use the restroom as soon as I open this chest up. Ten ice arrows, cool. Alright, that was kind of worth it, I guess. Um, so, no. I've, Insomniosis, I've played through, I've, I've said this many times, but I've played through and beat Final Fantasy VII so many times. Like, I would say probably six to eight times from beginning to end. Maybe more, I don't even know, over the years. Um, and then, you know, not just beginning to end, but doing other things in the game, loading up old save files, playing different stuff. I mean, I played the crap out of Final Fantasy VII. I have the Platinum Trophy on the PS4 uh, port that came out recently, um, within the last couple of years. They released a PS4 port with with uh, Fast Forward and, you know, um, max limits, max health, all that stuff. So, you know, I got the Platinum Trophy on that. I mean, it's my favorite game of all time. I freaking love it. I know everything about that game. I've, the, the amount of reading and research and stuff I've done on that game, as well as playing it, it's it's ridiculous. But um, I I never did a full stream of Final Fantasy VII, you know, for for Twitch or for YouTube. On my YouTube channel, I actually have it was one some of the first videos I've ever posted on my YouTube channel. It's called Final Fantasy VII Remastered. I did it years and years and years ago. Um, I don't even know what year it was, but it, it was before I even started streaming. When I was just making YouTube videos before streaming, um, I did this thing called Final Fantasy VII Remastered where I downloaded a bunch of mods from the Quim forums and I uh, modded the game to make the graphics and everything look 
better. Now, since then, there have been a ton more graphics mods that have come out that are way better than what I used back then, but I never actually finished the game. I got maybe about halfway through it, and then I just kind of... Um, what happened was actually my computer crashed, because I was playing it on PC, of course, and my PC crashed and I lost the save file. And I didn't want to go back and redo everything that I had done already, and I guess I kind of was too lazy to try to find a save file where I was before. So I just kind of ended the playthrough there, and I, I never went back to it. But that was before I did face cam, and before I was streaming and all that stuff. It was just me playing the game. Um, I don't even think I had voiceover. I might have had voiceover. I'm not sure, though. But th those are some of my old, old YouTube videos. So <clears throat> what, what my plan is, basically, when, Final Fantasy when the Final Fantasy VII Remake release date is announced in celebration of finding out when the remake is going to be released you know part one of course of the remake because it's going to be done in parts but in celebration of finding out when part one of the remake will, will be released I'm going to be doing a full playthrough for my stream and for YouTube of Final Fantasy 7 but I'm going to heavily heavily mod the graphics um, like I did before but with even better graphics mods now now that the ones that uh, are out are better than the ones I've done before and do a complete run through uh, of basically Final Fantasy 7 HD, I'm going to call it, um, where it's the full graphics mods for the, the character models, the, um, the, the in-battle models, the in-battle uh, textures, monster textures, um, the portraits, the menus, everything's going to be overhauled, so I can't wait. But yeah, um, I'll be right back. I have to use the restroom, Insomniosis, and anybody else that's here, and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere.